Today the Spyrites take on the Bees in a top of the table clash in the National League. A win for Chesterfield could see the gap extend to five points, whereas a win for Barnet could see them overtake Chesterfield at the top of the Vanarama National League. Both sides will be hoping for promotion this season after a number of years away. Goal scores in the division. What, what are you expecting from this game? Expecting it to be very even, to be fair. Chesterfield, obviously, fantastic teams at top of the minute. Uh, Bard it, you know, there's a reason they're second. Yeah. So it's two two great teams in National League. It gives me um, sort of Wrexham Notts County sort of memories from last season. Yeah, it's a big game, but I'm not nervous. You know, they've got all the pressure, and I think we've got to come into the game, just play our game, and you know, I think we've got a good chance today because we've got a good player, Kabamba's on really good form, Carney's playing well, so I think we'll do good today. It's massive um, for the club, I mean, there's the town as well, I mean, you can sense a different sort of um, feeling today. I mean, everyone knows what a big game is. I mean, there's been mentions um, over social media that it's probably the biggest game um, since we've got really game in Michigan, probably. probably. Um, so they've got a good point in saying that because it means so much. Obviously, both sides have started the season um, really, really well. Um, we're flip flying and um, Barnet as well, keeping up, keeping up really good um, points tally and, and pace as well. I mean, if you look at both clubs, they're setting numbers that Rex from Notts County were setting last season, if not um, better. So I think it's a, a massive game. It's second v first, so obviously massive game for us. Like I do believe if we do win today, um, we could just slowly close that gap between Chesterfield. Obviously they are doing so well at the moment and so are so are we to be fair but if we can get a win like yeah we'll just close that gap. Yes. Do you think that Barnet are a proper contender throughout the season or would you expect to, to break away? They're definitely a dark horse aren't they? I think I wasn't expecting them to be where they are now but I, I'm not surprised at all because yeah. they have some quality players. Oh. When you look at Barnet over the last couple of seasons, um, you know, you've seen how far they've come because at one point their ambition was probably just to survive in the division, where now you're aiming to get promoted. What do you reckon has changed there? I think, to be fair, Dean Brennan's done a great job. Like, in COVID, we would, if there was no COVID, we would have gone down to the National League South. So we don't know how it would be, but to be fair, Brennan's done well. And look, we've got to just keep kicking on. For me, it's always been this season, get top three, get that semi-final game. Yeah. But, who knows, if we get a win today, it's not over. They're, look, they're a great side, they've got Colclough, Grigg. So I think it's going to be tough, it's going to be tough. I'll take a draw, but look, we've, we've improved so much, so we just got to be happy as fans, really. Are you quite nervous going into this game? Because it's been building up, I've seen it on social media the past week. The game's been built up over, over the last week. Um, as a Barnet fan, are you quite nervous coming here? I mean, yeah, of course, like, when you're facing a team like Chesterfield, it's going to be really tough regardless. Like, even if they have an off day, they're still on it, 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, like, obviously there's nerves coming into it, but at the end of the day, I believe, like, you know, if we get a first goal, you know, control the game, control the tempo and stuff like that, then, yeah, I think we'll get three points today. So, so obviously, about five years ago, Chesterfield fans were probably out here protesting against the owner and the issues that were happening at the club. Today, there's going to be it's a sold-out crowd. You're top of the National League. There's a good chance you're going to get promoted this season. How far have Chesterfield come? Yeah, I think mean, it's, it's hard to believe um, at the minute how far we have come. I mean, you look at, as you mentioned there, uh, how long ago we were protesting outside this ground for new owners. The stadium was 3,000 people in it and 4,000. Where today we've got a solid art crowd and, uh, as you mentioned, good owners, a great manager. I think it's a testament as well to the, the community trust who have done absolutely fantastic things. In this and what would you expect the atmosphere to be like, uh, particularly from you guys? Sold out crowd. Well, I don't remember the last time we sold out a game. So it's going to be a great atmosphere. Everyone's buzzing for this game. So I think we'll bring. Look, we've sold out our way. I'm not sure how, but yeah, everyone's up for this game. It's probably one of the biggest games in the last two years, including like Gates said last year. But yeah. this is probably bigger. Well, I know there's a lot of people, probably including myself, who might be not giving Barnet the credit that, that, that they're getting so far and everyone's thinking, you know, Chesterfield will just, because they'll just end up running away with it because they've got a bigger budget. And yeah. But at the moment, you know, you're the one side in this division that's giving Chesterfield a bit of yeah. a run for their money. Do you genuinely think from what you've seen from Barnet that this side's good enough to, to be competing and maybe even win this division this Look, season? We're a quarter way through and we've competed, so 
look, for me, it's about how far can we go and how can Chesterfield do? Look, we've got 40, something like 42 points from what, 18 games. Yeah. If Chess, no one else is near that. Wrexham, Notts County, they didn't get that last year. So we're on that level. So we've just got a game by game basis. That's it. What would you expect the atmosphere to be like today? Well, to sell out into it, nine, nine plus thousand here today. Atmosphere, um, it's going to be great, hopefully. I don't, I don't want to put a jinx on us, but <laughs> atmosphere should be great. Barnet have brought their, you know, their following. Uh, what, I think 500 today, Barnet. Yeah. Um, so hopefully atmosphere will be great today. Uh, we, de we never usually have fans in that stand, mm -hmm. uh, in the South stand. So to have fans in there this season is great. It builds atmosphere and it's fantastic the numbers we are getting in a minute. I personally think if we can go a goal ahead, it might be, say, a 2-1. Like, I know Chester will definitely get a goal back if we do go up, but I do feel like with the luck we've had with getting the equalisers, getting the winners at the late minutes of the game, I believe it's going to be a 2-1, yeah. Your prediction, I'm going 2-1 Chesterfield. I think Mandeville and Dobra will score. Uh, yeah, 2-1 Chesterfield. You know what, I thought about it. I'm going to go 2-1 Barnet. I'm going to ask you one more question now, because I've just thought, what would it mean for you to see Barnet back in the football league? Mate, it's massive. It's massive. Like, financially, just... Uh, we've been a National League, this is our sixth season, and we need, like, for a club of our size, we've probably, we're a League Two side, we need to get out of this division. Like, Chesterfield, like Oldham, there's so many big teams in the National League, it's not credited enough. But yeah. it's going to be a big game, but hopefully we can return to the FL. So, I'm, I'm hopeful. Finally, what's your score prediction? Ooh, good question. Um, I know I said we'd probably win by one or two, but I'm yeah. going to go 3-0 um, today. I've had like that in my head all day. 3-0, um, but realistically, it'll probably be one or two. two yeah. one.
header, but Jones is helping out. Jones over the top. Quigley's in now. Joe Quigley with a real chance here. And Joe Quigley! On the field from the substitute. Corny Senior with the cross. Oh, and it's over the line. It's gone in. Was it Kabamba? Might be after. Oh. <laughs> I've done it. You've got it. <laughs> <laughs> now and it finished Chesterfield 4 Barnet 2 and if I'm going to be honest here I think the two consolation goals for Barnet flattened them to be honest um the first half Barnet probably edged the better chances but as you're aware in this league you need to take your chances when you're at places like Chesterfield because you know in the second half they're going to up the gears like we saw and let's be honest in that second half Chesterfield absolutely tore Barnet to shreds um, you know, they cut them open and I had that feeling is if ba if Chesterfield, sorry, do get that first goal in, in the second half, then they're going to absolutely obliterate them like we saw. Um, and to be honest, like that, the exploited Barnet, Barnet's high line, you know, when you go 1-0 down against Chesterfield, you're not in a very good situation because you know that you get, they're gonna, you're going to have to leave gaps at the back like Barnet did. But from what I saw, to be honest, from what I saw from Chesterfield when I went to watch them with Halifax and from today and against the game against Oldham on the television, from my perspective, I don't think they're going to have any issues getting out of this division and winning the league this season. They're by far the best team that I've seen, to be honest. It's proven today they've played against second place Barnet and they've absolutely battered him. And that's no disrespect to Barnet because I didn't think they were that bad in that first half, but... Just what the feeling I'm getting and from what I've seen, I think this Chesterfield side are cut above the rest of the division and it certainly is theirs to throw away. But anyway, that more or less um, ends the video there, basically. Thank you to everyone that's tuned in to today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.